What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve a problem involving magnetic dipole moment. The problem reads, Show that the magnetic field of a dipole can be written in this coordinate-free form. So that means the magnetic field of a dipole is a function of r vector is equal to mu naught times 1 uh, or, or mu naught over 4 pi times 1 over r cubed times 3 times m dot r hat times r hat minus m where m is your dipole moment. So as shown in the book in figure 5.54. Here we define or we set that the magnetic dipole moment is along the z-axis. So if this is your z-axis and because of the symmetry in the uh, phi direction, therefore, let's say this is your uh, y okay uh, the this is your r vector and the position point p okay uh, the dot product m dot r actually corresponds to the component of m along the r direction so in this case, that is this projection. Okay, let's call this MR, where MR is the component or the projection of M along the R direction. So remember that this is your R hat. So this is M, by definition of your dot product, M vector dot R hat would be your MR. Okay, so if this is your theta direction, so this is now equal to m, what? This is m cosine theta. Very good. Okay, now, on the other hand, uh, at this point, the this is your theta hat vector so that means this projection is the projection of m along the direction of r hat uh, uh, along the direction of theta so we define that or we express that m theta would be m dot theta hat which is in this direction, that's negative, so negative m sine theta. Okay, so therefore, in terms of r hat and phi hat, the magnetic dipole moment m is equal to mm, m cosine theta, so this is mr, r hat minus m sine theta theta hat okay so let's hold this for now now going back to our equation that relates the that we got from equation 5.58 remember 5.88 the magnetic dipole uh, the dipole mom uh, the magnetic field of a dipole is equal to mu naught m divided by 4 pi r cube times 2 cosine theta r hat plus sine theta theta hat okay so you will notice that this is our goal equation okay so, we can set aside this coefficient. So, let's focus on m 
times 2 times cosine theta r hat plus m sine theta theta hat. Okay, now our goal is to have this one because that's m. Okay, so if we take 1m here, then this should be equal to 3m cosine theta r hat minus m cosine theta r hat plus m sine theta theta hat. So if we're going to group this together, this becomes a, plus, a negative. So this is now equal to 3m cosine theta r hat minus m cosine theta r hat minus m sine theta theta hat which is this one okay so this one is m vector for your dipole moment whereas m cosine theta is mr or m dot r hat so this is 3 times m dot r hat r hat minus m vector so therefore the magnetic field in its free form or coordinate free form will now be equal to u naught over 4 pi r cube times 3 m dot r hat r hat minus m okay very easy right just have to know how to attack this problem and you're good so this is the end of this uh, the end of the solution for this problem and i hope you learned something and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye